Hello, viewers. We haven't budged a fucking inch nope. since the last episode of Yahtzee Croshaw's Ego Review. We presume you haven't either. You've just sort of calcified to the chair you're sitting in. just, Or you're just going through an old playlist sometime after the fact. In which case, hello to the future. Ooh. I say. So yes, in our first two installments, we played the first two AGS games I ever made of Rob Blank 1 and Rob Blank 2. Do you remember the subtitle? Um, the blankening. Will you stop reading your phone while we're trying to do this record? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I, I was reading it because you were fiddling around reloading the next um, amazing installment in the well, Rob Blank adventures. surely you noticed we were recording again. Oh, were we? Yes. Um, yeah, it was, it was longer. Um, I think you're suffering from some serious Sierra puzzles. Like that thing with the alleyways. It's like talking yeah. to the pipe. Why think, would I do that? I think the games only get worse the more ambitious and more egotistical I got from the success <laughs> of the first. What, um, when you uploaded these, because I'm curious, like, you know, this was part of a community that you interacted with. Yeah, what was, I was the community I was, response? Well, I was a big wheel in the AGS community after Rob Blank won. They were Ooh, like, hey, someone actually finished actually, the game yeah. <laughs> and didn't make one that consisting entirely of clip art and stolen images. So, yeah, you actually internet. drew things. That's, yeah. like, that's, you know. Someone actually animated something. Yeah. So that was unusual. So you were at the time. a big wheel. So you were you were sixteen years yes. old already. Got a bit of um, internet cred to you. Yeah, uh, I got internet cred very fast, and I'm ashamed to admit I became kind of up myself. So you Phil fished. I got a bit Phil fishy. Yes. Ooh, that's I, interesting. My ego sort of. Were you I like? Was, were you harsh toward other creators though? That's. Uh, I I was. I'm afraid. Oh, that's that's mean. I got all egoy. <sighs> I, I, Do you know who you're talking to? This is Yahtzee fucking Rob Blank Croshaw. Basically. So here, I've made so games. With that perspective in mind, here, <laughs> well, me now being a big, okay. fi- big fish in a tiny, tiny pond. <laughs> big Phil fish in a small adventure pond. The, the th- epic third installment of the third and final installment of Rob Blank Games. Was this a, you know, a designed final installment or were you sort of thinking... Uh, yes, well, this was intended to be the last. Oh, good. Well, okay. Wow, holy shit, look at that. The slightly different graphics, yes. Fucking, what's even happening? Nothing. <laughs> a ship called the RSS Sexual Harassment. We have a prologue this time around. Didn't just go straight to title. Fuck a do. There's Christ, characters. We've gone up in the world. I'm obviously a captain, even though I'm wearing red. I think it's a Star red Trek. Means riff. captain. I think it's a Star Trek parody. Really? Cause really? The, <laughs> that is a Star Trek parody. I was gonna say because of the badge on his chest, but yeah, that sort of gives it away as well. Yeah. I mean, that's clearly a TARDIS. I like how you've got two people who look like they should be there, and then, like, Frank the <laughs> lunatic. He doesn't have a badge. He's only yeah. his... He's part of his own weird space questy game where he accidentally gets onto the bridge of the ship. I think that was a Blackadder joke I stole there. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I spy with my bored little eye. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we got some gripping music. There's mysterious. Oh! oh, a mysterious space phenomenon. It's a wibbly wobbly thing out in space. Yes, that's that is a red dwarf joke that isn't in this game. <laughs> it's easier to spot the ones that aren't. Oh, oh. breaking the fourth wall straight How... off the bat. How meta! See, this is what I mean. All this shit that you're like happy with in games now. That's, Yahtzee did that shit when he was 16, motherfucker. Oh my god, it's a ship identical to our own, except there's a big clock on the front. It's the Starship Time Warp. Alright. This is me overwriting a scene again. I was gonna say, you know how you complain about all of um, Joss Whedon's characters having the same voice? Yeah. Whee! You yeah. have an excuse, though. You were a teenager. Well, yes. And, and not a paid like fucking that's kind TV of the problem producer. with the whole Rob Blank series I mean Rob and Paul just have the, same, the same character yeah. voice all these characters have the same character voice it's a hard thing to do to generate a you know, different voice I think I was sort of got on top of that from like the Five Days of Stranger series onwards mm. when I was like made a concerted effort to make all the characters have distinct personalities looking forward to reaching that, that it will be spot. a while before we get to that I'm afraid oh really so you've got like how many because I've only i only ever seen those well we've got these we've got the Trials of Odysseus Kent we've got uh, Adventures in the Galaxy of Fantabulous Wonderment <sighs> that'll be a big one fucking epic Hold on to your butts, listener viewers. Yeah, we'll be doing these for a while, I think. <laughs> Give us plenty of time to think of another gimmick for our Let's Plays. I think this is a good one. I like this. I'm having fun. 
Yeah, I'm just not even paying attention to the conversation anymore. It's no. gone on way more, lo- way it longer really, than it yeah. needed to, and it's just going to go. Okay, on. that's Ensign Flusher. So now we. Oh, look how pretentious it's gotten. Good lord. All right. <laughs> see the, do you see the joke there? <laughs> mm, the temporal terrorists. All right. Okay. President Face. This is still in the effort half of the game. You start making the game, <laughs> you put effort yeah. in. Towards the end, that starts to drop off. That's you kind of the, uh, still do that a little bit. You just stop working on the game, and I think. Well, yes. Although I think this time around you had some actual reasons. Oh, you see. Jesus Bucket the Third. Yes, that's his name. Is that like you know maybe a reference to Hyacinth Bouquet? No, I just huh. made up. I just tended to make up words oh, like right. Paul Grewald, Hightegan. So he is a lemon head. Yes, he oh. has a big lemony head. Lemonhead made this. What's RSS stand for? I don't know. Okay. Something space service. Well, I was going to say Royal Starship. Reman. Reman Starship. There we go. Mm. Okay. So there's weird temporal phenomena going on throughout the, the universe. No, 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 no. Some little music that's presidential, I suppose. Well, not really. It's just continuation of the title music. Ah. Okay, so we've got some time warp shenanigans going on. I yep. recognize that. And this conversation's going on too long as well. Tell, 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 I'm President Exposition von Explano the Fourth. So this is actually the first game where we are actually doing something to defend the universe. It's the third game in the trilogy. Everything's just been tests so far. It's like fucking a Zelda game. Everything's always proving your worth before they let you have the fucking fight sword. the fucking boss well no you have to you have to get three you'll, you'll always have to get like three crystals of personal value before you can allowed to touch the master sword yeah oh there we go okay. prodigal young engineer Paul who's the same age and who he bums let's not forget that <laughs> oh there's a gag yeah and the computer's incompetent it's a red dwarf ripoff Brain so no way, it's not brain the size. IQ of six thousand. Yes, that's a different thing. Yeah, you were thinking of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That was what Marvin used to say: brain the size of a planet. Should do a whole Queeg one. I liked the Queeg episode actually. Yes, we're being assigned to investigate strange temporal phenomenon. Where's Paul? Who uh, the one I love? <laughs> yes, the one I was bumming earlier. <laughs> No, it's one yeah, of those. If the, if the game's not going to do the gay jokes, I might as well. Well, I think it's something that um, what's his name, uh, Stephen Fry says a lot that less what? like less gay sex is anal penetrative than is not. What are you on about? Well, you keep saying that's like you you and your gay friend just bum all the time. And Stephen, one of the things Stephen Fry keeps pointing out to like crazy homophobes that go on about gay butt stuff is most gay sex isn't butt stuff. Okay. Which, I trust him on the matter? I don't know. Well, maybe that's just him. Yeah. I, he, he says it as though it's a thing. All right, that's... No, I can't really imagine bait. him doing any kind of sexual yeah, thing. Free yeah, neither can I. He, he seems like a cuddler, and that's about it. I think one of the things I changed in Rob Blank 3 is that you can examine every part of the background. It's not just, uh, like, uh, little, little that's, things. Yeah, that's good. Shadow. A shadow uh. of a pipe. <laughs> Okay, now I know. That's a cage. It's a cage. There's free bird seed. Yeah, I know. That's. Do I just take it? Idiot. Yeah. Oh, it was a trap by Paul. Oh, okay. He was turned Scottish for some reason. Well, now he has it. Now he's a character. Yes. He has an accent. Give him a different accent, and he's a whole new character. That was a joke in the first game. What off earth are you playing at? Ooh, space varmints. Now I have you in my cage. This is all a bizarre roleplay. Possibly a reference to space weasels from Red Dwarf. What was the thing that they used to eat that they hated? Probably space weasels. It was weevils. Weevils, that was it. Space weevils. Muffy and Scruffy. So they're space pets. Uh, Okay, so this is a Tribbles thing. You smacked your chops again. Yeah, it is a triples thing. Yeah, we've got triples. Yeah, we have triples. 
You almost space varmint. Rob, you almost space varmint. Space garment. Gone away, you like a glove. I'm trying to think, and I don't think there's any female characters in this game either. <laughs> I was a teenager. I didn't know what women well, were. Yeah, that's. I mean, this is this is a good example of you create from what you know. What does you know a sixteen-year-old guy who's been in like nothing but male like education environments know? Not fucking girls. I remember when I was when I was a teenager, I'd had to have sexy dreams, but I had so little experience with vaginas. It'd always be something horrific. And when the <laughs> pants came down, we didn't have the internet back then. We couldn't just look up five hundred pictures. Yeah, no, no, that was, that's the word yeah. go. Back in the old day, you had to know someone whose like uncle would give them like porn. And I remember once having a sexy dream before I'd ever had sex, and it was like. It was like a dog's mouth. It was horrifying. That's fucking amazing. That is so great. I very... I never have sex dreams, and in the ones I do have, I get cock-blocked. I guess it's like something happens. Like, suddenly, oh, the room explodes, and there's no sex for you, Gabe. Wordy, wordy, wordington. This isn't funny, teenage me. Oh, now they're onto fragmentation grenades. I tuned out. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just get out of this cage and do stuff now? Not gonna animate that. No, 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 no. Okay, time for all, so... Right, our first... We have to deal with the space violence before we can deal with the real plot. That's fair. Ooh, alright, we got a... We got, like, Monkey Island-style axe screens. That's nice. Look at that. Okie dokie. Right. Let's solve some puzzles. Yes. I wonder if this locker's locked. And here's some nice elevator music as you think of puzzles. More homoeroticism. Mucky mags. Is that like a weird British thing for porn mags? Yeah, mucky mags. Okay. As in filth. All right. Okay, can't monkey with the reactor ports. Okay, now that you've actually identified everything in the room, this makes solving the puzzles harder. Yes. <laughs> now I have to fucking... I might have to piece some shit together as opposed to just interact with the only objects. Another door. Let's go, another door. Take me. All right. Okay, that's where they are. That's where the space varmints are. Okay. And they're through that door. Okay, so we're locked into an area until we solve this. That's okay. That limits the amount of potential bullshit I have to... All right. I preferred the cursors from the previous game. I had a yeah. style guide going on. Where are you? What? what? That... Don't <laughs> ask me. I didn't make... That's, Can I go into this? All right, there we go. All righty. That's Adventure Game Studio Pathfinding <laughs> for you. Nancy Crochet Live. Uh, that's Arthur Yahtzee, from the games I made in high school, that can no longer be played. Oh, ah! look at you solving puzzles. I'm just clicking on things. Okay, so we've got. There's other things in here though. There's Including an a space toolbox. There's an obvious thing that's not like the others. I can see already. There's a mm. tube, obviously for giving yourself an enema. <laughs> You gotta keep it clean for Paul, man. You gotta keep that area clean. Okay. Ain't no one gonna toss filthy salad. Okay, you found a hand drill. God, there is a lot of just weird gay violation jokes. Oh, there's another one. Yep. It's never not funny. <laughs> gay never, jokes. Never isn't. For different reasons, but... Oh, okay. Alright, space age hand drill. Okay, can I yes. use the hand drill? Um, cause it looked like there was... I'm not sure you can take... Alright, I hate the way it... <laughs> Does the like the the, the that, clock thing like oh okay here we're gonna go do something and then it just sort of doesn't. That just signals that you're walking to the spot next to the interactable thing. All right, so I can't do that. I got a tube. Got to open that. Okay, two seven four one. If I remember Adventure Game Studio correctly, you could assign a walk spot to background hotspots, but mm. you couldn't assign one to sprite objects that would be that would actually be moved and and uh, would change and stuff. Okay, you've got a poison gas canister. Okay, you got a you got a door with all the varmints behind it. You got a drill. You got a tube and a poison gas canister. How are you doing? Talk talk us through your thought processes. Well, you just spoiled it. I figured I might have to, like, there's a. All right. Okay. I wonder if I can look through the peephole. Yeah, ah, you can. Look at, and it will describe what there is in there. Big. Pointy ears. 
All I right. think the joke is that the description makes them sound like Pikachu. Because Pokemon uh. was quite big at the time, and I was quite into it at the time. A snug fit. Aha. Another possible joke. We need some um, Paul and Rob shopping done. We need some fan art. Some Rule 34 of Paul and Rob. Please don't. Oh, hmm. Because yes. they're, they're basically the same character, and the character is me. 16 years old. You know you want to, Internet. Don't do that. Because you've just ruined it for everyone who is trying to have gay sex to this. <laughs> uh, okay, so space violence are dead. Oh, all right, cool. Now we can now we can do the time puzzles. See, this was a point where I thought I knew how to make a floral ceiling look shiny. That's not so bad. You just paint a slightly lighter line going across it. Wub wub. Racing stripes. Yes. That, now, that floor's going places. Makes the room go faster. Okay. Okay, there's a temporal phenomena, uh, blah de blah de blah de blah there's a vortex. Writing it's... text is easier than doing a cutscene. Oh. oh man, I forgot how homoerotic this game these games were. All the way through. Might as well all have been oiled up and bare chested. Slowly, the hands just bump into each other as they go to push a button. Suddenly it all becomes clear. Uh, you need to go on one of those gay cruises and just get this out of your system or further into it one or the other well I'm pretty sure I like the ladies having now established pretty what vaginas sure. are like <laughs> now I know it's not a dog's mouth <sighs> case is establishing the plot I hope you're paying attention and yeah, it's stuck in time. So time's leaking out of the universe, or being sucked out of the universe. So time's being sucked out of the universe. That's why there's temporal clones everywhere, because there's less time for stuff to be in. Everything's being compressed, you see. Huh. You have exactly beaten or stolen various Doctor Who storylines. Uh, this is, it reads like fan art, fan fiction now. <laughs> we have better things to do than listen to your half-baked schemes. Nobody talks like this. No. Maybe you should bring half baked back. Like, yeah. Now half make it so people talk like this. You can retroactively fix the dialogue. Half baked like a bean. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so there's what a. Is... We want to get a prototype time drive that has been destroyed. Damn you, Tarabans. Is that Turban? Are these going to no. be like space Muslims? No. Okay, it's I just another. You were just getting racist as well as homophobic. Just another race of space white people, I think. <laughs> there's two. There's yeah. There's no minorities in this game. No women. No minorities. No and women. Only, no minorities. And it's only, really pleasant. And only young homosexual men. <laughs> this is exactly what the ancient Greeks considered heaven. I'm yes. not even lying. It was, there was a, a wonderful world, and it was before women and men just hung out and talked, and did stuff together. So the time drive is just split into four bits. I want, mm. to, I want you to remember that specifically. We only collect three. No. Two. Well, let's just Five. wait. Let's just wait and find out. Six is right out. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's turning into Toe Jam and Earl. So yes, there's four parts. First part is on Taraba Six, the Taraban homeworld. Fair enough. Why would you call your homeworld Six? It's in the hands of a mafia boss. They're, they're still called the mafia on Taraba yeah. Six. The Italian word for. Jim Carter. Hmm. Actually, did you ever see a movie called Jim Carter? I it know was about of it, a fusion yes. of karate. It's terrible. Segment two is on Remus three. Ah, oh, good old Reman. Yes. Remember the Remans? And, we yeah. destroyed one of their ships in the first game. We should start calling our planet Earth four just to fuck with aliens. The third part was sold in an auction to someone called Bernard Tosspot from Begarath three, which is Paul's home world. Ah. Oh. See, we're making a <laughs> consistent universe here. Don't remind me. And the last one went missing in the Necronox asteroid Wasn't belt. Was that five? No, there's four. Okay. Tarman, Remus, thing, Paul. I don't know. Like, so now it's like the four map pieces from Monkey Island 2. There's the Remus one, the Mafia one, and the... Tarabus is the Mafia one. Oh, okay. All right. I thought there were two separate ones. <sighs> four destinations. This is kind of unfunny at this point. Unskippable Yahtzee Crow Shaw. Aha, but now they're going to split up. Oh, okay, cool. So one Are there takes... any gameplay element differences? No. Fantastic. You're just different characters. To the extent that, you know, 
maybe there's a puzzle that requires physical strength that Paul can't do. But you can't both occupy the same place, so it wouldn't matter. Ooh, so Paul's so... getting bigger at three, obviously, and the asteroid build. And Rob's getting Terrorist 6 and Remus 3. Okay. Assembling the Russell T. Davies, part one. The Riemann time drive. Russell T. Davis wasn't a thing at this point. Um, when was Queer as Folk? Because that was pretty early. And I think he'd already written um, well, is Bad that, Therapy. Well, he wasn't a thing I knew of. Oh, well, I'm still going to call it that anyway. Okay, all right, we're on a planet. All right, so Russell T. Davies' butt is just 50 yards away. All right. Okay, now, okay, look at the dumpster. Background art. Back in Lazy Town. <laughs> well, there's a city over there. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. yeah, it's some black shapes with single yellow pixels on. They don't even line up. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's hit the pavement. Of course. All right, let's hit the pavement that goes nowhere. Okay. This is uh, kind of legacy larry -y at this point. Well, at least I don't get killed for immediately stepping out into the road. Oh, okay. Hmm. This music's kind of shit. Annoyed. That's a reference to something else. It's... That doesn't Except, mean anything. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. And Rob has already <coughs> robbed corpses. So, wait, I'm trying to... Whoever the bouncer annoyed <coughs> needs a wee chat with his inner child. All right. Go in the casino. Of course. And then gamble. Alright. Do we actually have to gamble? I'm trying to remember. Ooh, Yahtzee Croshaw is, is are some critical chickens about to come home to roost. Well, I can already see uh, that the thing that the dead croupier is holding is a separate object, so you can probably take it. Pushy thing. Yeah, I don't know what that's yeah, called. Yeah, I didn't uh, know what they were really called. I'm, and this was pre-Google, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they have a name. You should have alter vista it. Hmm, touch. Can I touch? Are we gonna... Alright, so we're not playing roulette. Oh, that's a person. Or a thing. A tit, you know. Hmm. Yes, I have thought fancied myself a regular Douglas Adams. Making up details about random planets to fill in the space. I was reading The Salmon of Doubt the other day. How's that? And, um, I enjoyed it. I and mean, I never, like, it was a present from my girlfriend, because I'd never gotten around to getting it for myself, because it kind of felt... I felt a little weird about, you know, rifling through someone's hard drive and publishing all the stuff you find. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. If you die, do I have the right to do that? Because I'm probably going to do that. Well, if you can figure out the password for my computer, you're welcome to. I'll find a way. It's gay sex. Okay, I have no idea what to do. It's probably not that. What is that machine on the left? I didn't. I tried using it. It's a real, you know. What is it? Slot machine. Right. You have no coins though. Can I sit down at this table? Okay. No. no. That's just back. Well, maybe I need to explore other locations first. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, okay, there's the dude. I'm uh, gonna have a. There's some pumps. Taps. And there's the barkeep. <laughs> Rob Blank is a twat. I swear I've seen you say that a buzz. Who talks like a twat? Okay, who's that guy in the shades? All right, he just hangs out, observes, all yeah, just king of all he surveys. Just is too cool for school. All right, I'm gonna need to get something he wants. Oh, I'm gonna need to get an invitation to talk to him, or all of this could just be nothing. Yeah, that's the first thing they do. Video games they give you a, a big list of problems. Yep. Okay. So we, so that's basically just giving away that you have to steal it. This is a reference to a puzzle in Space Quest 6. Where you distract a barman with a complicated drink. Hmm. 
Mm. I think you skipped a line of dialogue there. Mm. See what this see where this goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I experience more of uh young Squire Crowshaw's writing? Well you're not you're not actually part of Galactic Police, you're just the defender of the universe. It's like Batman to Gotham PD. Okay, Alright, so tips jar I can't take, I'm guessing. Oh, let's touch the taps. Alright, shifty man. Touch? Nope. Okay, so I had to steal shit from him. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to talk to him from over there at the bar, <laughs> while facing the other way. Okay, so... Alright. Hmm. You're gonna pushy him to death. I thought I'd maybe be able to reef something out of his pocket with it. I don't know. It's an adventure game, Yahtzee. Yeah, you click the things on the other things. Well, I, there's at least some logic at some point. See what's over on this side. Hope you're enjoying this constantly repeated music. Oh. Oh, a lift. But you have no card. Alright, so I'm guessing this is just... Bomp. Yeah, that lift looks a little bit like the lift from Rob Blank 2, Planet of the Pasteurized Pestilence. Hmm. Uh, effective callback. Or was it just a reuse of... Uh, hmm. I don't think I so. I it. Nope. Okay, have you, okay, have you talked to the... that guy in the background? Because he's animating and therefore important. Well, that was fun. Thanks for that tip. Okay, I might have to... Okay, table, can't... Alright, wait. A little too attached to my electric structure. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Use the thing in your inventory on yourself. Because it said use that on yourself to, to contact the ship's computer. Oh, okay. You think you'd just uh, ask all these questions at once? Mm. Yes, I was. As I was saying, I was reading the Salmon of Doubt. And there's a section where he was talking about writing Hitaka's guide, and where he basically admitted that he'd used the little history lessons about the universe just to sort of fill space. Uh, I well, it, 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 it can be fun. Like. Well, it works. It uh, gave the uh, book its unique voice. Yeah. Well, that was one thing I think the TV series did well was keeping a lot of that, and that was I think probably one of the larger problems of the movie. Uh, uh, touch your fucking tips jar, you yeah, dick. Yeah, fuck you. All right. <laughs> rat asked is a British term. A good one. I like rat asked. Shall I look up a walkthrough? Um, well, it said I had an option to go to the other planet, so maybe I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll have I, another poke around. I don't think you do, actually. Okay, well, I'm... Hmm, maybe something behind the portrait. No, Shit. There isn't. Anywhere else you can go outside. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Go left. Ooh, ooh, hey, alrighty, now we're on, now we're in the business. Tramps. A tramp to talk to, and some things to interact with. Yep. No, it isn't. You're a tramp. Shut up. And another character with exactly the same character voice as everyone else. <laughs> there we go. I need a job, you filthy vagrant. Where's your CV? No, you aren't. Why do you lie? All bums lie. But if you yank their beards, you get a wish. It's fascinating to see your stream of consciousness in action. Let's just kick this beggar constantly. Ah, okay. Oh. Did that thing where I clicked it right as it decided to change the dialogue by itself. Stop that. And we're too many words now. 
This is why I'm wanting to click through it. Like I just, my brain just wants to go click the button, make it stop. Ugh. Fuck it. Here we go. Okay. What do you this know about the Roman time drive? Off now. Uh, a lot of adventure games did this back in the day. You know, there were some fairly hectic fucking text dumps. This is more than a text dump. <laughs> this is a text landfill. This is. No, 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 no. Forty-seven. Mm. Yep, just this is me hammering that keyboard again. <laughs> words, words, wordsy, 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 words, words. <laughs> How many martial arts can you make up? Oh. That character had nothing. To, oh God! Just say bye bye. Figure that thing on the floor. It's a lighter. That'll do. All okay. Right. Not allowed to, Yahtzee. Kick his ass. <laughs> oh, that's a reference to uh, another AGS game. Someone made by somebody else? Yes, by Phil Reed. Yeah. Who made the Larry Vales games. Check him out. Goes nowhere. Oh, I do remember how to get the lighter, actually, now that I'm seeing everything. Yes, you use the only inventory item you have. Yeah, I thought that might have something to do with it. You obscured it with the clock face. You dick. Alright, so I've stolen a bums only object yeah, and insulted stole a lighter. it again. Now light one of the plants on fire. Because I said so. Because I'm sick of just fanning about. No, just the one will do. Well, I want to do both. Oh, you can't. All right. Couldn't be asked. Couldn't be asked letting you I do that. It's just like an unconscious bouncer out the front. That's fire. That thing that Does was that... on that plant was yeah. fire. I'm not sure if that was clear. Does that do anything? Well, tell the bartender about it to distract him. Uh, okay. God, I'm a my teenage self was a shit. <laughs> Uh, Interesting personality question. What would you tell your 16-year-old self if you could go back and visit them? Hang in there. Okay. Now I've got your fucking tips, Jar. Eat it. Uh, what else can I touch? I don't know. Okay. Now I've forgotten what to do. Maybe use them in the fruit machine. Yeah, I'm gonna go give him a shot on the old. Take a whirl. Yes. Take a punt. Let's do it. We're the defender of the universe. Yeah. He gambles. Yeah, let's go gamble some shit. Just like James Bond. Or not. Okay, or not. super. Fine, okay. Whatevs. Ah, uh, but. Uh, oh. I'm not sure the holy prosthesis is a thing. Couldn't be bothered animating that. Okay, now he's left the machine vacant. And now there's a vent. You didn't throw away old image files. They never existed. Uh, I was just a lazy bum. I no don't... reason I couldn't have just made a new image of him crawling on his ass. An image of a bum. <laughs> Okay. My kind of bar. It's only got whiskey and cider. And right, a brown well. stain on the wall. It could be shit. Okay, right. so you swap the optics around? I swapped, yeah. So whiskey is coming out for the cider. I guess now... Work out what the fuck happened. The mafia boss will be oh. unconscious because that was a piece of dialogue we missed that he only drinks one thing and never the other because if he drinks the other, he passes out or something. I'm guessing he must have fixed his own drink. And new, we've got a key card. Time to get to that penthouse and get that bit. D nicer carpet. <laughs> well, yes, the... The one, All the right. pink part is the nice carpet, uh, and the red part is the nicer slot. carpet. Alright, yeah, what? Oh, <laughs> fuck. 
<laughs> Are you? No. Are you satisfied? I'm not satisfied by my self portrait there. Now I want to kill myself again. Screen cap that, people. Crop it. Make it your little uh, image of your own. Your little Crucial Jr. That's so adorable. That's fantastic. <sighs> yes. Surprised I referenced Larry Vales earlier. It was unlike me to reference anything other than myself. I'm going to make that my profile picture. What is your current profile picture from? Because <laughs> I've been wondering about that. Uh, is it familiar? I think it might be a Saints Row thing. No. Okay. Okay, so... All right, the security. All right. That's locked. And you're carrying... <sighs> Nothing much. Use the key card on the painting. That sounds familiar. Yes. Right, now we don't have to look at that anymore. Uh huh. Okay, so I can't just wobble on it. Um. 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 So it's in the safe. How do we open the safe? Have you scoured the sofa? Wait a minute, there's a section of floor that's a different colour, and it doesn't look like lazy shading. Ah. Ah ha We found a logical lockpick that can open anything. Which that's, is obviously what you'd keep near us. That's safe. the puzzle. That's. <laughs> I'll look over here. That's how you open the safe. With the thing that opens things. <laughs> I imagine that reading this is an FAQ. Now you're going to come to a safe. Pick up the safe opener, which is just <laughs> in the same room yes, and to the right. In a, in a hole. Yep. Me doing the uncharted thing. Point out the plot holes and then don't. Hope that nobody cares. All right, well... All right, well, we found the first piece of the Russell T. Davis. <laughs> now we can... Big piece of inner thigh and butt. Now we can leave the planet, which I presume we do with the communicator. Oh, okay. To get beamed up, Scotty. Let's beam this motherfucker. Um... Can I get a Remus 3 now? Oh, now we got a... Yes. Paul purloins the parts. This is a rather overt Monkey Island reference. Okie dokie. Alright, so we're just... Path. Right. Oh, How I've, adventure gamey. I've, I've just remembered all the things that happen in this part of the game. It's going yes, to get so more... Much. It's going to get more homoerotic before it gets better. Uh, oh, I missed the A. Oh well. Uh, it's going to get more homoerotic. Yeah. Leave that alone. Oh, of course. So we have to distract the person. Can't go into the shed. That's far too small. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, why, why would a human build a shed they can get in? Yeah, yeah, I'd say. How old were you when you ran away from your parents? This was a joke that happened in Monkey Island a lot as well. Yeah, everyone, because he couldn't grow a beard. Okay, so uh, is, 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 this, this is him on his home world, isn't it? Yes. Alright, okay. So this is him demanding to know why. Well. That's where we learn about his backstory, which is just as good as a personality. <laughs> Location. So you'll note in Rob Blank 2 I made the effort to make the water look realistic and all reflecting and stuff. Not in this. Just a big blue wobbly mass. Where are all the boats? Well, it's got a different colour there when it gets close to the thing. I wrote this not knowing what marketing fallout was. I just heard the term somewhere. <laughs> Again, before you could just Google these things. Exactly. Information was hidden. You had to go find it. It was such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I mean, just just treat these games as what they are. A capsule of someone's life before 
one could Google things. 1999. Someone who spent most of their time in their bedroom and dropped out of school and never interacted with human beings and got most of their information on life from pop culture and the internet <laughs> and video games and the classic kids. Uh, adventure All right, games. not allowed to go over there. And Red Dwarf. All right, I'm not allowed to go in there. I can't touch the thing. What do I have on me? Okay, of course. A communicator of your own. This one's green. A green one for Paul. Paul! Did you ever dye your hair? No, I didn't. Okay. I was too boring. And you did have a hat. It's like not hair dye. At no point in England did I have a hat. I didn't realize that was a Brisbane thing. Yeah. Well, when, when the sun did you run can away? be so bright. It is horrible. Gonna take the grave. Huh. Alright, that's two moons. Oh, I wonder which grave is one we're gonna be interacting with later. Is it the one that uses a different palette to the background art? And has, like, a name related to. A rake. There's nothing at stake, but we've got a rake. Alright, so. Alright, and that's a brick wall. You can tell because there's bricks in it. <laughs> Kind of more stonemasonry, isn't it? Than bricks. Well, town. Go to the tiny town from your Monkey Island style map. Yeah, I like it. And look at this extremely well drawn background again. Tell me what you're about, Paul. <sighs> a nicely arranged pile of wood where I might be able to zazz up my do a little bit. Yeah. A barber's that looks a bit like the barber's shop from Leisure Suit Larry 2. That guy looks like one of the dudes who was fucking with the Baron in Dune. Hmm. Except... Really badly animated. Yeah. yeah. You didn't think about that, did you? Yeah. And yet another character with exactly the same voice. Uh, and add them to the list of characters we have to distract so that we can steal something that's next to them. <laughs> I enjoy the one puzzle this game has. Paul looks a little bit like Johnny Gat. <laughs> Again, you know, you did this first. You yeah. Need, need to get out there and start, you know, fucking thieves. Exercising volition. some of that copyright. Can't believe I gave Saints Row 4 a good review. <laughs> How oh, dare they? I'm just zoning out of the dialogue again. Yeah, to be honest, it's that's what just, I'm doing. It's all the blue. It is really blue in here. <laughs> Alright, how about this kind of gotta go get a thing off? Mr. Tosspot. Put the pick in there, Pete. And turn it out. Nice and neat. So he's a recluse. Mm. How will we get into his house? I uh, don't Kick it down. Your diseases are love to me, my baron. Oh, Jesus. Alright, okay, let's see if we can use a chair. That's, come on, fix me hair. Make me look like less of a tit. No. Alright, nope. Find more inventory. Wait, yeah. wait. Put what? the rake on the chair. So help me God if this is a thing. Something just came back in a flash. Oh, I get it, because it's got a green head. Yes, and he's got bad eyesight. And now he's just going to stare at the rake for a while. <laughs> I would not have figured that out. Actually, I think figuring it out's a bit generous. I would not have randomly clicked that. Alright, so I got a jar. Better go check what's in the jar. Yes, it is a jar of miracle Grow hair mm. cream. It will make your hair longer. Existing hair, though. That's won't just work on baldies. Which... Okay. <laughs> this is a continuation of the town. Drawn by Timmy, age six. <laughs> it's so nice of you to get, like, neighborhood children to uh, help you out and get involved. It's a good way of getting kids into yes. the industry. His sister helped with putting all the dots on the ground. <laughs> I don't want to draw dots anymore. Draw the dots! All right, I'm just okay. guessing the town's not useful anymore. Well, Barber shop and one house. I'm sure there's something you can do with the one house. Because okay. there wouldn't have been a room otherwise. I'm not sure you can do anything now. Although, I'm, yeah. Are you, are you sure? My memory is very uh, blank. Right, let's go look at. 
Hey, here's, jerk. Here's a lazy man with, with an inventory item next to him. Do we, do we want to guess what happens if we try to take the inventory item that's next to him? Oh. Well, that was actually... Oh, it was a joke. But we did actually take it. Oh, you finicky game. Uh, hello? Hello. Oh, he's I'm a... I'm guessing a lot of that happens. He's a paranoid recluse. I'm assuming this is just like a word-for-word -word explanation of what happened when your mum knocked on your door. Ben? Ben, are you... Go away! One of my birthday presents I asked for was to get a deadbolt put on the inside of my bedroom door. <laughs> oh, God. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, well, what a happy birthday. Well, my parents were aware that my brother tended to barge into my room and harass me a lot. <laughs> he's the older brother, right? Yes. Yes. That's... What did he call you? Did he have a pet name for you? He's partly why I grew up so maladjusted that I produced this series. <laughs> uh, right, so we have to disguise ourselves as a woman in order to and get him a present. In order to be, get in order to intrigue, present. to intrigue Mr. Tozpot. Oh Jesus! And get him expensive objects in silver and gold. So this is getting close to the only female character in the game. Yes, it was just, just a man in drag. Yeah. Okay, so... What was it, the leg? Fuck, I'm gonna go, there was a thing there. Yes, there was a there was a boat hook and a dude... Well, there's gotta be something you can do with this meadow, otherwise it wouldn't be a room, would it? Okay. Yeah, you gotta get the dress first. Because I didn't design a sprite where he just had long hair without the dress. <laughs> Alright. Maybe, okay, maybe you can't do anything with the meadow. Maybe yeah, I'm not gonna rely on your tips. I yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't remember that. Sixteen-year-old tips. Can you push him into the lake? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, yes, you can. Huh. Homoeroticism joke, possibly. <laughs> it's or just joke everywhere. About sailors being effeminate. Someone needs to do a critical reading of this. Just find all the gay. Quick, find all the gay. Now you'd better use the boat hook on that window. Okay. Because the rake wouldn't have done. Well, no. Then of how course would I not. Have... Duh. You fucking. St oh, I got a shovel. I can go to the graveyard and get a woman's dress from the fucking grave. Uh, no, I think you're wrong there. Oh. Okay. I do remember this. You have to go back to town and keep looking at the memorial in the town square until you see a message that unlocks the ability to dig up a grave. So look at it again. Yes. Huh. Oh yes, here's some more backstory. Paul's parents are dead and he doesn't realise it. <sighs> Lol. Ha 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 ha. Someone, da, 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 da. someone mentioned silver and gold. Ah, it's Mr. Bernard Tosspot. Click on the things until the things become useful. The wife of Bernard Tosspot. Good advice, Tony. Whoa, that was almost a fucking animation. And there's a sprite with a limited colour palette. <laughs> Got quite a beard on you, Mrs. Tosspot. Oh, where's the examine button gone? Is it still up top? Huh. Hmm. That's a good idea. Okay, now you've got a present to give to Mr. Tozpot, but you still need a dress. Hmm. How will I sell this? Because why would there have been a fucking dress on a corpse? Why wouldn't it have been a fucking golden rib heart and a silver rib cage? That makes much more sense. This is what I get for trying to solve a puzzle. So, here's the long object on the window. That seems about right. Okay, or not. Can okay, you talk to the window? Alright, that's... Or not. Can't make out anything from down here, which means... Um, okay, I'm not sure what to do now. 
Uh, all right. Uh, can you do anything with that fence? Yeah. Come on. I climbed up. Oh, another Larry Vales reference. Yeah, I think he was the only other adventure game creator I respected. What's he doing now? I don't know. He's dead. They're all dead. Oh, oh. Jesus. Okay, can't talk to the window, can't look in the window. Town's kind of pointless. Wait. Um, large family house. Guess okay, so large family house. There's no door, can't interact with it in any way. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, we're listening to a domestic dispute going on. Classic slum fun. Mm. More backstory. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Ah ha ha ha! Aha, uh -huh. you had to use your hand on the window in such a way as to not use your hands at all. Down a bit, up a bit. Right, now okay. dress up like a lady. Oh, well. You beautiful, beautiful little man. Okay, so. Windows maybe into Yahtzee. Maybe he's just trans-curious. <laughs> kind of like hiding in your mum's closet. I never put on my, my mother's clothing, if that's what you're asking. Uh, just... I like how he's just put things. it on over his boy's clothes, because yeah. I couldn't be bothered just redrawing anything. He's on the camera. Oh, okay. I like how it just, it just says, you do not have a reason to do this yet. There you go. Let me see something valuable, such as this. Such as bizarre sculpture. Yes. That's we, a sentence. We dug up his wife and sold it uh, back to him. Sold his sold his wife's ribcage back to him. Implied weird sex. Yes, th this is peak homoeroticism, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's over 9,000 gay. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's gonna, he's gonna do you so We're gonna draw this out, are we? Yeah. <laughs> Not even. Let's. Uh... Oh, he's a, he's a pederast. On top of everything else. Oh, uh, oh. I, I'm so sorry, the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I made a game so... I, I, I I totally forgot how much gay there was in this just checking the door for scratches I'm, I'm kind of loathe myself okay so I'm not allowed to leave just want to be in a shower where I can cry okay I think you have oh to put God. something on the door Put the bucket on the door. The other door. It's Future Wars. Yep. That's me showing my influences again. Gotta make it bump him on the head. Oh, also it's a Monkey Island 2 ripoff. But Can't I'm, even but I, keep track of your own theft. But I referenced it, so it's okay. <sighs> yes, you do something similar to Largo Legrand. Defeat in the Island rapist. Two. Well, not really rapist. Comedy rapist. Comedy rapist. So well, it's okay. Like, you, you did it willingly. You fucked a dude to get a thing, that's... Yes. Okay, we're at, this is the point where we get to peak laziness. This is the point where I kind of lost interest in making the game. So yeah. just, well, you've just, already just done the great gay joke. Where just, else are you going to go? Just watch this scene and you'll see why. Uh, fuck, I'm just not going to click. It can okay. just take as long as it goddamn goes. So suddenly we have the whole RCD, Russell T. Davis. Oh, it's you from the future. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so you just... I thought we were going to get more gameplay. I didn't realize that the puzzles were going to end with... 
being sodomized. Well, it's not over, over. I have to hurriedly wrap up the whole plot. Had something else distracted you as you moved on to a different game? I think I was just bored. Fair enough. You'd already, you know, you'd resolved the gay tension. Yes. Foursome! <laughs> it's not gay if it's you! There. Now we don't have to collect the last two parts. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we mentioned it, so it's okay. I mean, I guess this is the point where I'm sort of... Yeah, that old excuse. Where I'm, <laughs> but this is where we're sort of maximum disrespect for the audience. Because of my ego. <sighs> you'll get what Mr. Croshaw produces and you'll like it. Peasants. Are you Yahtzee at this point? Um, only I can't on, remember. Only on the HDS forums. Huh. Oh, it was a ship. All right. Yeah, that was the ship. Okay, we we're going in. through time. Yep, definitely Whoa, going through time. Whoa, animations. Oh, okay. So oh, this is me. A lot of time travel gags. This is me thinking, thinking that I'm being clever. Oh. Yep. You know, technically, this could have just made the game three seconds long. Get close. Didn't even so do a reaching out sprite. You. Reaching out sprite is like the classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take that audience for not paying attention. Yeah, obviously this game's just, too clever for yeah. you. It's just a little bit too much for your poor player brain. Just, yeah. you know, what? alright. It's a shame not everyone's as smart as me. Not on the level of 16-year-old Crochet. Or 17. By the way, he said 17. I'm guessing he was 17 by this point. Probably. Huh? Alright. Yes. We're at minimum Fox. And we've got some James Bond music going. So that's what those strange sights were. They were events taking place in the wrong order. Fizzle beef nuts. So those were things that were taking place in the future. So we're going to have to do them now, or we're just going to skip that? No, we're just going to do some other clever puzzles. Oh, okay. Alright, being beamed down to mo molecule... Okay. Okay, now we're... Now this is a different event happening somewhere else. That's a line from Naked Gun 33 and 1 3rd. <laughs> yeah, let's just reference me again. Hmm, maybe the, this is the time for that puzzle. But you know, it's in the grand tradition of the Sierra games also having no respect for the audience whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. What about the pillow? No. Oh. Uh, what about the leg of the bed? Oh. Aha, I remember now. Now we have a lump of wood and some papers. Came under the door. Papers, please. Oh, a paper clip. I guess this means we can pick a lock. <laughs> oh yeah, we're a cockney gangster, we are, obviously. You muppet. We don't have the voice of a slightly effete 16-year-old middle-class high school I went to private school! Hello! From the, from the Midlands. Oh yeah, this is the villain. This is the introduction of the villain. <laughs> uh... Either he's got a big bit of his head missing, or his hair is clashing with the background out a bit. I'm gonna go missing. It's Doctor Diablo. Fantastic. We know him by reputation. He's done evil stuff in the past, so he's the really, ba really bad guy. Quick, explain why the villain who just appeared is evil. This is exactly how Moriarty was introduced in the Sherlock Holmes books. Uh, yeah. Like they just had like the last story where they, he dies in the Reichenbach Falls. Sherlock Holmes just say, "Hey, I figured out that all the crimes we've solved." I've been done by this one guy called Moriarty. <laughs> really? Nah. Okay. Okay, he's uh, he's been ban exiled from the universe into this universe. 
and he's sucking all the time out of our universe as revenge. <laughs> Bit of a roundabout uh-huh. plan. I've got a fucking balloon full of time. And he's got temporal clones of himself. So we were just in the brig. So now we're getting put in the brig we were just escaping from. I miss you so much, Rob. (sighs) I've tasted butt sex and now I need more. Why are you still got a paperclip? Because it does that every time I change character. It, like, leaves the last piece of inventory item in there. Programming! Okay. I think this style of background is me ripping off Space Quest 2. The latter parts of it. Oh, yes, you have. That door leads to the room you were in earlier where you had a bread knife, so you can't go in there until you had a bread knife. So now you have one. That's woman's work! Yep, every character with the same voice again. Oh, and the papers. Ah, papers. Uh. We know what to do with papers. See if we can find one with a paperclip on. What's that one by the desk? The one to the right of the desk. That's sort of... Okay... That doesn't look like a... Well, one of these papers we've got to be able to pick up. What about the one in the middle of the floor? There, for no apparent reason, these ones we're fine with picking up. <laughs> just... <sighs> I hate it when the space-time continuum nags me. It's all like... TIME! Oh, oh no, it's a Dr. Diablo. Stab, stab him. him! Stab him! Oh, you haven't met Stab him. Alright, I'm allowed to do that. Of yeah, kick his there. ass. I'm Go Kung Fu. Oh, well, that's nice. You won't see any of those other servants, because I couldn't be bothered drawing them. Ooh, that's a possible solution. Well, that's the door to the brig. We have to push the orders under the door somehow. Oh. Maybe he'd, he might have told us this. There we go. Yes. Okay, so I'm guessing that other room I cut the sandbag and it drops onto a Dr. Diablo and then this Dr. Diablo is gone and I can push the thing under and then na 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 Um, don't think so. I think uh, you have to get rid of him first. Well, you can't defeat Dr. Diablo until Rob gets out of the cell. I guess I'm just running around causing trouble and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, who cares? Okay, <sighs> there's got to be something else you can do. Um. Rather a homely kitchen for a space station. Yeah. Okay, there was a machine in here. That so what was the thing? Yes, what's that machine? The device. A hole punch. Okay. So use the hole punch on the orders. Okay, now show the orders to that clone. Ah. And then he will be ordered to do something else. It's important to take orders from the people who are trying to defeat you. Well, he doesn't know who you are, apparently. Ooh, Sunny Jim. Sunny Jim. Apparently pulls on the East End of London as well. Hmm. I thought he was Scottish earlier. He's a Scottish Cockney gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Still got them for some reason. Okay, now we've put them under the door. We have officially fixed the space-time continuum and are free to walk through that other door. All right. You know, if you'd found out ways of like keeping us going through doors we're not meant to go to, this would have been like you know, I think it would have been a fairly cool puzzle. All right, fine. Fuck you. You fucking no, fuck you. you. No, oh. you can. Oh no, climactic music. 
Oh, yeah, don't you? Oh, know, what a uh, wag you are. What a wise cracker. Being aware and everything. People deserve to give you a kiss. <laughs> or 16 year old Yahtzee. 17 year old Yahtzee by this stage. I'm guessing it had to have been 17. Um, possibly. Yahts teen. I'm not sure what kind of gap was Teensy. between. I'm not sure what kind of gap was between Rob Blank 2 and 3. Oh! Oh, dropped the sandbag on the machine, foiled your plans. Har har. Teenager Yahtzee. Teensy, as I'm calling you. Teensy. Okay, I, rem oh. I remember what to do next. But let's see if you can figure it out. Time is spilling back. Just like in the Red Dwarf episode, White Hole. Mm. I had a fondness for the word bugger. It's a good word. It's very northern. Ay, ah, you bugger. Oh, uh, he's set the self destruct. What's that grey lump there? Oh, shadow, okay. A shadow is what it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, isn't he suave? How James Bond like? Don't of course, you can't him. examine Doctor Diablo, and you can't talk to his clone. You can talk to the Shadow, though. Oh, that was dark. What? That. That lump of wood we took off the bed, uh. he shoved straight through the clone's spine and out the front. <laughs> and then both of them disappeared for it's, some reason? Yeah, well, you know, you gotta... You have to defeat the clone by penetrating it from behind, don't you? Okay, the villains... Oh, this is the laziest background in the game. Bloop! Couldn't even bother drawing the little shiny lines on the floor and ceiling this time. Well, there was an explosion to draw, that was, you know... Yeah, done my, done my, done my effort. Oh, That'll do. The bare minimum you had to accomplish. Oh, finally, yeah. Let me guess, hand wave away. Let's time lash this ending. Yeah, that was my question. <laughs> past me. Well, this, this is weird, the plot's all dealing with future and past versions of yourself, and this is me addressing <laughs> the past version of myself. Oh, goddamn murder! The universe is spilling time out into Yahtzee's existence. Oh, okay. My bum hurts. <laughs> uh, Self-reference. <laughs> Let's address this. Now the player has to say something. Yahtzee is holding a gun to my head. Yes, I am. <laughs> I didn't have an that's, option. That's just how we record these videos. Yeah, that's I, why you stick around all this time. I have to come over. Temporal Terrace credits. Okay. Still can't remember who that is. <laughs> You're right, so your gay crush is Ewan McGregor, we know that now. Well, he's got such a twinkle in his eye. And we're playing a whiter shade of pale for some reason. I love you almost as much Chris. as I love myself. All of these from, from various, various sources. sources that weren't informed. Yeah. I always try to pad out the credits a bit because Aww. they I had um the only, cre the only yet, credit was me. <laughs> and Mark. Oh no more Rob Blank. Oh no, you must be very upset. It's the last game you'll ever see in a Rob Blank game. Because these games are so fantastic. Weep your tears. Thanks for padding it out, previous Yahtzee. Oh somehow I thought people would be sad. <laughs> so it is a skull so we've we've answered that they look like just uh, pieces of the poster of you oh uh, oh god that's adorable I deserve to die <laughs> uh, if you're dead you can't get better so yeah I think that's that's you know that's a lot of solid work for a 17 year old yeah, again, it's the first 17 year old. Yeah, because that's, that's a qualifying factor. Like, I wouldn't expect. I mean, I, don't know, I probably couldn't get that to you know, happen now. But I can't draw. I can't draw that well. But it's so horrible. They, they wear matching shirts. Yeah, it was, it was work you did 16 years ago. It's allowed to suck balls, like, from this perspective. So horrible in its attitudes as well, though. I don't know. 
Have you grown? Do you think you've grown? I like to think so. Well, there we go. Then, you know, this is... We've seen a journey. We've discovered a, a growth in Mr. Crochet. I see Rob and Paul celebrated their victory by getting a rather Similar lengthy shirts. solarium tan. <laughs> gonna, gonna get a tan. Gonna get some really killer threads. I'm gonna go mac on some fucking honeys. So... One of my eyes is gonna be a bit small, but that's okay. So this was... The Rob Blank series. I'm glad it ends on this. I'm glad we have a little... <laughs> this is such a fucking satisfying conclusion. The first Adventure Game Studio games. Well, there we go. Yeah, this is a, a reach back into the past. I'm glad you made so many games. I thought you made like four. So this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. I suppose you, yeah, you didn't do anything. So what else were you doing? Well, exactly. Now, I'm very bad at putting events in the right order in my past. So the next game we'll need to do would be either... Whoever organizes your TV tropes page will fix that problem for us. I think it would be either The Trials of Odysseus Kent, or... That's a nifty title. Or Age of Evil, my Duke Nukem 3D mod. Ah, oh, so there's gonna be like an action game sequence and everything. Yes. Fuck yeah, different genres. So there'll be... So I like, need... You're like electronic arts. You should do a sports game. So, I'll try to figure out which one I put out first. Someone will tell you. Like, someone's on the YouTube going, Yeah, it was this! I'm sure. I've uh, been following you for 15 years. Well, I think I put Physically, out... Physically, it's weird. I put out the first episode of Age of Evil, and I put out the second one, like, ages later. <laughs> ages later of so, Evil. Well, it hardly matters which one we do. I want to do them chronologically. I, it's, it's important to the development. Well, we'll do them in between doing, you know, adventure games and stuff. Aww. So maybe next <laughs> uh, that next video series will be what your next video will be. Um, well, it'll just be another adventure game, isn't that what we were doing? Well, we could do whatever we want. To one of the adventure we games we want. I no, made. No one cares. It'll just be a flip book. <laughs> we got, we don't, no one cares if we just do adventure games. You do whatever game you like. All right, all right, all right. As all long right. as it's got stuff we can take the piss out of and it's just repetitive gameplay. <laughs> Because then we'll just start complaining about social justice warriors again. Uh, I wonder what Young Yahtzee would have thought of that. A bit social. Can we, can we reach back and ask Young Yahtzee? He'd probably have said, Are you gay? <laughs> you faggot puff bum. Uh, you yeah, touch you, my you bum. suck each other's cocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly the noise we would have made. <laughs> final, uh, say your final statement. Um, I like to think I'm the Paul to your, to your uh, Rob. And now I will bum you. <laughs>